Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands. I can hardly talk, I'm so excited because today is Horrorcon. So yes guys, today is Horrorcon. It's up in Sheffield, which is not too far away from me. Going there with my dad today, just waiting for him to pick me up. So it should be an awesome day. It's just a horror convention, completely dedicated to horror and horror movies. So tons of Blu-rays and DVDs there, action figures, posters, T-shirts, all kinds of cool stuff. Stuff you don't, that you don't see every day, which is awesome. So really looking forward to going. Got a few things, got my bag, and I've got bags within the bag for, for the Blu-rays that I hope to get. Got the tickets, got to have the tickets, and then just got a bit of water just to keep hydrated along the way. So I'll show you everything that I, that I pick up from Horicon. I'm going to try and show you a bit of the convention itself. I don't know how strict they are with filming and taking pictures, but I've got my dad on hand, so hopefully he'll take some pictures, take some videos of, of what goes on so you can see a little bit of it. And, uh, and yeah, we'll try and include you as much as we can along the way. And I say for a Horicon. So here we are guys, on the way to Sheffield. It's not too far away from me. 30, 40 minutes and it's a lovely day so uh, yeah my dad's driving and uh, yeah we're looking forward to to getting there not much traffic on the road either which is good so uh, yeah we make it in good time so here we are at the Magna Science Adventure Center, the uh, home of Horicon right each year. It's a really cool venue. Yeah, so you just nice. literally just pull up and it's it's right there. You just go inside. Yeah, turn left here. Just here. Yeah. So this is one of the uh, the main Blu-ray and DVD stores. The first one I went to was the Kendall. Let me uh, throw everything away, trying to find the uh, the good ones. That's where I get most of my pickups from that store there. Okay, well that was a fantastic day. Uh, amazing convention, great atmosphere in there. Busy but not uncomfortable, and yeah, just really cool to see all the great stuff. Got. Absolutely loads of pickups, three bags full, uh, some great Blu-rays and DVDs, some kind of weird and wonderful stuff. One insanely crazy trashy release that I can't wait to show you. So we'll get back and uh, I'll let you know what I picked up. Okay guys, so this is the hall, the Horicon hall. I'll go through and show you what I picked up. Just want to say a big thank you to my dad. My dad went with me and had a great time going with him. I was going to get him in the video a bit more, but he was the one taking pictures and taking videos, which really helped. I kind of struggled to do that if I'm on my own. So big thank you to him. Great to go to a convention with him because it's been a while that we've been able to do that. So that was great. And I had a couple of people that came up to me as well. They recognised me from watching the channel and they said hi. So that was great to meet them. It was a really, ni really nice experience. So thank you to anyone that came up and, and said hello. It was uh, really, really good to meet you and see you. So, so yeah, so go through the movies. Um, the majority of these are blind buys or movies that I've not seen. In a couple of cases, movies that I've never heard of. And then just one absolute gem of a find in terms of trash uh, which i'll 
I'll get to that's towards the end. So pretty tired now. <laughs> so uh, I'll just power through this and, and, and show you what I picked up and uh, let me know what you think of any of these, any of these pickups. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is a movie called Three Dead Trick or Treaters, which is one I've heard of. You don't hear about it very much. I think it's kind of like a low budget indie indie film and it's uh like one of these kind of halloween feel anthology films so kind of like 1031 and uh witching season that kind of thing so yeah i just saw this lying around on one of the stores and thought i'll pick it up because like i say it's not one that you hear about all that much next up in a similar kind of movie a uh, bell from hell similar in terms of i've seen this around i've seen this on people's shelves but don't know anything about it so yeah i saw this it was cheap just second hand dvd so i thought i'll i'll get this and check this out don't know what it's like or if i like it but yeah it's just one of them titles that i've known about for a long time and have never picked it up so whilst whilst it was in front of me for cheap i thought i'd just grab it uh next one is a christmas horror story it's another second-hand one, but nice Blu-ray with a slip case. Again, this was really cheap, so yeah, one to watch at Christmas. Really cool slip cover on that. I like the artwork on that one, so yeah, just grabbed that one while I was there. This one here looks like a really just sort of low-budget amateur effort, and it's a grave for the corpses, which uh, is one that I've never heard of. Again, just reads like a really low budget, maybe like fan made movie. I don't know, it looked different and uh, and a bit weird. One I've not heard of. I think it's it's signed. It's signed by somebody, um, but I don't know who. So I'll check that out at some point. Okay, next up is the aftermath. This is one I've wanted to see for a long time. This is on the section three video video nasties list. That's how I come to learn about it. And it's like a post-apocalyptic kind of film. Seems to get some pretty good reviews. It, this one gets talked about very positively. So looking forward to checking this one out. It's not one that you see around all that much. So yeah, definitely uh, wanted to grab this one whilst I saw it. Couple of Jello ones from Sev Severin that I never picked up. We have all the colours of Giallo, which is like a, I think it's mainly like a trailer compilation and a bit of a documentary, a bit of insight into Giallo cinema. And then we have all the colours of the dark, similar package movie. This is a Giallo film. I've heard a few, so sort of it's quite a intense, uh, sort of mean-spirited one. So we'll we'll check this out. But I know these two films came out in a like a pack from Severin. Never got around to picking them up, but they looked interesting. So again, whilst they were, whilst they were there, I grabbed them. Another cheap one I just picked up is American Mummy. It's a Wild Eye movie, so I don't know what it'll be like, but sometimes you get lucky with Wild Eye, and they're pretty entertaining. But this is like a, it's got a 2D and 3D version of the film. So you know, essentially a 3D Blu-ray for cheap. So whilst that was there, I just uh, grabbed it up with with the others. Right, next up is a... I've never seen this film. I have the sequel, but I've never, for whatever reason, seen the original. And it's Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. So they got this MVD Blu-ray edition. Really nice edition. So I thought, again, while it's here, pick this up. Because it always annoyed me that I had Return of the Killer Tomatoes and had not seen the original. Not pretty... Not very good going from me there. So yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. I know this is a bit of a silly one. So, yeah, good to get that nice edition of the movie. Next up, I picked up Bear Behind Bars. So, another women in prison movie. Not my favourite subgenre, but this is a, a brand new DVD, Blue Underground, with the slipcase. And again, this was really cheap, so I thought I'd just grab this one. Sometimes these movies are okay. We'll have to see. So, yeah, just thought that was a pretty nice DVD. Didn't want to leave it behind. Next up, I picked up Beyond Dreams Door. Just grabbed this. It was a couple of quid. And I kept thinking the title sounds familiar. And this is actually one of the movies that's in the 
homegrown horror box sets from Vinegar Syndrome, which I had that, so kind of bought the movie when I already have it, which is, but I'll keep it as a individual release. It's good to have the movie on its own, just to put on the shelves and interesting cover art there. So yes, Beyond Dreams Door. I knew I'd heard of that movie from somewhere. This was an interesting one. So again, a movie I've never heard of called Biotech Warriors. And I picked this one up because it uh, says on it, limited edition, uh, limited collector's edition. There's actually a thousand of, the, of them released and it's it's numbered on the back there. So I think it's I have 969 out of a thousand. And it's signed by the director, Brett McCormick. So pretty nice, seemingly sort of, rare edition there and not like a cool movie of like a killer robot killer cyborg thing going on a rampage so yeah that was a one of the more interesting uh pickups from today okay next up is a kind of just a, a, a trashy shot on video film that i've i've heard about because it's quite infamous now and that's black devil doll from hell which i, I believe is is simply about this killer doll here uh, that uh, gives a gives a few people a hard time um kind of racist now i think i don't think this is the most politically correct film in this day and age which is not cool but uh product of its time but i'll, I'll check it out and, and see what it's like um, and i doubt this one is is to be taken seriously but yeah I've, I've heard about this for it being like an infamously trashy film so nice to see this one get a dvd release and and yeah, I'll see what that's like. Okay, next up is Breeders, a monster movie. Uh, it's a, I already have a monster movie called Breeders from the 80s. This is a different film. This is from 1997, but it sounds like a pretty similar plot. Just sort of uh, rubber suited monsters on the rampage. Definitely sounds like my kind of movie. Cool cover art there. And I think this is from sort of Dark Force Entertainment. So again, not the most easy to get release so sort of grab that one whilst it was there today <clears throat> next up i got some uh, old i think this is mexican horror from the 60s uh, curse of the crying woman yeah which is based on the la llorona legend uh, so yeah apparently a very a, a big heavy hitter in the world of mexican horror cinema I've read some good reviews on it. It's quite sort of gothic and atmospheric and that kind of thing. So yeah, one of the the, the shining examples of Mexican horror cinema. So uh, yeah, looking forward to checking that one out. Okay, next up, I grab this wonderful box set from Severin. This is the um, Danza Macabre box set. One of the nicest box sets to come from Severin, uh, I, I think. Uh, from looking at it but this has got four films in uh the monster of the opera the seventh grave scream of the demon lover and lady frankenstein which is just like gothic italian sort of creature sort of movies i think i've seen lady frankenstein that's a really fun film it's got a cool monster in that so yeah really looking forward to uh to, to checking out the other movies in this and like i say absolutely wonderful uh box set from Severin, this one really stood out to me when it was on the on the stall. So uh, yeah, definitely wants to grab that one. Next up, I grabbed Death Valley from Screen Factory. This one was just a second-hand one, going for really cheap. Uh, so I thought, well, it's a Screen Factory Blu-ray. I'll pick it up. Next up is Delirium, one from the seventies. Again, it's Blue Underground, so it's just another label that I collect and one I didn't have and one that was going pretty cheap. So uh, grab that one up. Sounds pretty cool. Next up is a pretty recent release from Screen Factory. It's a film I've wanted to see for a long time and it's Dr. Giggles from the 90s. Uh, the DVD of this was really hard to find. Uh, you never really saw it around and if you did, it was really expensive. So when I saw that Screen Factory were putting this out, it was definitely one that I wanted to pick up and it was great to see it today. It was just on one of the stores. So I thought, thank you very much, I'll have that. So really looking forward to finally checking out Dr. Giggles. It looks like a fun movie. Right, next up, a bit of an obscure pickup here. 
This is Frankenstein 95, which is not from 95. It's a French TV movie from the 70s. Very obscure movie, just a very standard DVD release. But uh, again, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too much money and uh, just looked like a, a quirky film that you don't see very often. So I thought I'll, I'll grab that and have that for the collection. Next up, I picked up Ghost Riders from MVD. Got the slip cover on this one. Again, not seen it. Looks like a one of those sort of amalgamations of the Wild West and horror and supernatural. So, um, looks pretty cool. I like the skeleton cowboys on the front. So, yeah, nice release of that one. And I picked up House of the Seven Corpses. This is an old Severn release now. One that I never got around to seeing. Sounds pretty cool. It was here on the day, so uh, so yeah, I thought I'll I'll grab that one. John Carradine's in this, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so next up, I picked up uh, How of the Devil, uh, Paul Nash's film from Monday Macabro. Now I picked this one up, and the guy who had the store next door was actually the artist of this cover. He had a store selling his artwork, so he actually signed this for me, if you can see, just there, um, which is really cool of him. Just got it, uh, signed it, and, and yeah, give it, give it back to me. So, yeah, cool to get that and get it signed by the artist at the same time. So next up, two films that I did want to upgrade to. It's uh, Jack Frost, which was released for this M MVD Blu-ray, which was really nice. I had the first one on DVD. I thought I'd get this one an upgrade, but I really wanted to get it to get the second one, Jack Frost 2, which I've never seen. I wanted to get both Blu-rays just so they matched. So yeah, they had them both, which was great. And I'm looking forward to checking out Jack Frost 2. You don't hear much about it. I think it's set on a tropical island, which is, I can't wait to see how that works. But yeah, Jack Frost 2, looking forward to checking it out. And Jack Frost is awesome. That's a, that movie is a lot of fun. So this one, uh, this is a, like a folk horror film called Luz, The Flower of Evil. And I remember this coming out. This is a UK release with a, like a limited edition slip. Long sold out now, I think. But this one was available um, second hand, but perfect condition. It was only £10. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll grab that while I'm here. So yeah, it looks like a mysterious little folk horror there i'm intrigued to see what this one's about but yeah great to see the the limited edition there today and pick that up next up is a really nice release from code red of messiah of evil a film that i've known about for a while but not checked out heard pretty good things about it and so yeah nice to get a, a decent code red release got the slip as well so yeah Really happy to pick up Messiah of Evil. Uh, this one uh, is, what's this called again? My Bloody Banjo, uh, which had just come in apparently. The storeholder said it's a fairly new release. i not heard of it before. It was pretty crazy. And uh, it doesn't tell you anything on the back, but it is numbered to a thousand. So it kind of prompted me to grab it while I was there before it sells out. But yeah, My Bloody Banjo. My Bloody Banjo looks like some silly fun right there. Okay, this was cool. So this is the so the documentary that's going around, Pennywise, the story of it. That I've seen quite a few people pick that up. But there was a store here that was selling it with this really limited edition slip. Uh, lovely looking slip piece. And it's got a sticker on the back. It's limited to 350, if you can see that. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, they were selling a few of these, and I, I, I yeah, I, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll grab that because it looks pretty limited. Uh, on the inside, it's just the uh, kind of the standard release. If I can get it out. So yeah, on the inside, it's the uh, the standard release that um, I've seen. I've seen everyone picking up, so it's just that. But yeah, I, I, I've not seen it come with this uh, this slipcase from Court Screenings, apparently. So yeah, I thought that was uh, yeah pretty nice little uh, limited edition there. And I'm looking forward to checking out the documentary as well. 
Next up from Scream Factory, I picked up Razorback, which is another film I've wanted to see for a long time. I knew it was coming out from Scream Factory, so held off getting it, and it was there today. So that was great, very convenient. So yeah, looking forward to finally checking out Razorback, like a killer ball movie from Australia. Then I picked up Revenge, which is just a second-hand Blu-ray, really cheap, but it got the slipcase, perfect condition. So I thought, yeah, I'll grab that and check Revenge out when I get a moment. Um, then I picked up oh, stuck uh, a movie. This is from Scorpion, Robot Holocaust. Wanted to see this for a while. Killer robot movie, uh, cool title as well. Did try to get this when it came out with the slip, but I think it sold pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, I'll just get this standard edition and check out the movie. Should be fun. So good to finally get that one. Uh, next up, this is just a standard DVD. Really cheap, called Satan's Bed. Uh, couldn't, couldn't resist that artwork. That looks pretty awesome. So, yeah, never heard of this one, but, yeah, looks pretty cool. Uh, then again, just another cheap monster movie, Ship of Monsters, from 1960. I think this is like a, a Spanish monster movie. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. And a couple of monster shots on the back there. So, yeah, Ship of Monsters. Never heard of it, but look cool. Uh, got a trauma DVD. Can't go to Horrorcon without getting some trauma. And it's Slaughter Party. Not heard of this one, but uh, I'll, I'll check it out. I'm sure it's pretty crazy if it's from Troma. So that's that one. Right, next one. So this this is an interesting one. This is a, by all accounts, an absolutely terrible movie called Tales from the Quad Dead Zone. Sort of shot on video trash to the max. But this one made a little bit of history because on VHS, this is, I think, the most sought after and most expensive VHS tape ever. Uh, there was a case that's quite infamous within the horror collecting community where this sold for nearly $700 on eBay, the, the VHS tape. So it just sort of became this sort of infamous tape. And uh, yes, it obviously now finally released on DVD. So I'm interested to at least check it out. I'd love to own it. Um, rather than the VHS, but uh, good to own it on DVD and just see what it's like because I am intrigued, but I'm sure it's awful. But yeah, if you've got the VHS tape of this, it is worth hundreds. So yeah, Tales from the Quad Dead Zone. Next up, I got more shot on video trash with things. Uh, shot on video, sort of monster movie, creature feature from the late 80s. So yeah, I'll check that one out and see what it's like. Next up, I picked up 13 Ghosts, the remake from Screen Factory with the slip cover. This is, I've, I've already got this, but it's in one of those awful snapper cases, which I hate. So while this was here, I thought I'll grab this and just replace that. Um, yeah, Screen Factory with the slip case, brand new. I uh, thought, so yes, I'll have that. So 13 Ghosts. Next up, I picked up Trilogy of T Terror 2. Never seen this one. I had the first one when that was released by Kino, so got the uh, the second one from Kino as well. So uh, I'll check this out. I'm sure this one will be pretty pretty cool. I think one of the story in it has got like mutant killer rats in it, which sounds pretty awesome. Right, okay. So the the, the gem of a pickup, um, I, just one that looks unbelievably trashy and garbage, and a film that I didn't know that existed, but I couldn't resist. Turkish Jaws. So yeah, with the shark from Jaws Revenge right there on the cover. So yeah, I know Turkey is infamous for doing just just beyond terrible movies. I have seen like Turkish Star Wars, which was a, a baffling ordeal. But you can see, I mean, look at that. That's what they've got going for the shark right there. I mean, yeah, I had to check this out. Had to check this out and see what it was like. Uh, and, and like I say, didn't know it existed, but yeah, Turkish Jaws. I'm sure it will be a contender for one of the worst movies in my collection, but that is definitely a, a talking point, <laughs> Turkish Jaws. 
Next up, I picked up the cheap DVD of Voices from Beyond. This is a Lucho Fawcett horror film that I'd not seen. Wanted to see it for a while, so I will now check it out. So cool to see that. Another one of these sort of 1960s Mexican horrors, The Witch's Mirror. This is one that I've heard of, and I've seen it go for quite a bit of money. These aren't the most sort of uh, easy to find movies now, so I grabbed this one up along with the Curse of the Crying Woman one. So yeah, hopefully that'll be pretty cool. Next up, oh yeah, documentary that I really wanted to see, and this store was selling them. I was very pleasantly surprised. But it's the You're So Cool Brewster Fright Night documentary. A documentary about Fright Night 1 and 2, which is cool. Uh, as I've said numerous times, Fright Night is one of my favourite movies of all time. So cannot wait to check this one out. I wanted to see it ever since it was released. Struggled to find it at times. So yeah, grab this one with both hands. Really excited to check out your so-called Brewster. And the last thing I got, which is another cheap, cheap home monster movie thing, The Zombie Walks, uh, which is from the 60s, I think. Might be Italian or Spanish. But a um, cool looking skeleton killer on there. So yeah, The Zombie Walks. Just grab that one up. So that's everything that I grabbed, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you went to Horrorcon yourself, really hope you had a good time. It was a really good one this year. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, same again next year. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.